hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you are watching today's just for the first time please do not forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our youtube channel so our just for today is on Tony abraham who has revealed in an interview that she had that she never had intentions to be an actress before she had said that she actually wanted to be a physiotherapist she has said that she never had it in mind to go into acting because as at then when they were very young she said when she sees a lot of actors and actresses going on locations or she sees them around she'll be like oh this actress they'll be hugging men they'll be doing everything on set they'll be she was like having some minds about them but then she it got to a point that she happened to be an assistant to bookie rights and she has also said that bookie rights happened to be a boss whom she was eventually training on that she said it's not like she went under any training or she went to school of act or school of acting before she started acting she said it all happened a day when she went to assist uh bookie right and she helped her do some things she when she even first of all saw bookie right she was like she said that bookie right she never believed that bookie right is so fine and beautiful like this she never believed that bookie right eats she never believed that bookie right talks she said the day that bookie right was sending her on an errand all she was just looking was the way she was talking she said when she got home that day she shared the experience with her sister and her sister was like oh she bookie right should not talk she, she said she does not really know that she relates with people that much said it all happened the day that she went on location or because she was assisting bookie writers at that time and then they were expecting the popular nollywood actress iriti or sayemi to come and act as a daddy but then she said that iriti was very very busy as she could not come up with the acting so she could not take up the role and they were looking for someone to fix into this role that was when they picked her she even said that then she was so thin looking like her leg was like toothpick then she was not that said it was like she was very very thin and she has the stature so they put her in the role and she started memorizing the lines and when she acted a lot of people clapped for her saying wow wow this acting was very very great and that was how she started so knowing that she is just an assistant to bookie right she's not really training on that bookie right so when she now started acting people started giving her roles one after the other she had to make bookie right a boss and also she also said that she received some trainings from great actresses like okbayemi ayola she said those people really made a career in the nollywood industry interesting and she said she got a lot of training from people and she revealed that that was how her acting started and ever since then she has been acting she has been acting in yoruba movies and also english movies and that was how she was able to make it up knowing that she even said that her and her husband will be going next to dubai to go and sell their tickets of the ghost and the towels too meanwhile if you could all recall that a lot of fans have expressed concern for Tony abram over her appearance at the movie pre premiere of our colleague femi adebayo that is Ageshi kule in the appearance a lot of people noticed that she looked a little bit tired and also she has put on some weight so people already started speculating that she is expecting a second baby but then their favorite actress Tony abram has surprised them with her outfit for the movie premiere and as they had expected that she'll be dressing very well because of the movie role that she played in this movie Ageshi Koli because she was also featured in this movie so when Femi had shared the invite he had said that the dress code will be epic and dangerous so a lot of people were expecting their favorite actress to come up with a costume that will represent a character that is in the movie apart from the outfit in the video that was shared by good my tv it was seen that she was feeling somehow uneasy and this did a lot of reactions from her fans we were thinking that i think going ibram is pregnant and stressed a lot of people said that maybe she's stressed and maybe she does not really want to attend the event but then she just had to come up all because of her colleague a lot of people did not remember that she has danced and danced and danced with Ibrahim Chata at the premiere even before she was being interviewed. A lot of people felt like they saw a lot of stress on her face. And if you could recall that, Tony Ibrahim has always said one thing, that whatever you want to do in this life, just make sure that you do you. She had said that you can never satisfy anybody. No matter whatever you do, you'll see people that will complain. She had said a lot of examples. She gave examples that if you are rich and you are spending the money and everyone is saying it 
people would complain that why are you doing this she said if you are poor and you are not even making any effort she said people will talk and if you are rich and you are not even being extravagant you are not spending the money lavishly she said people would also talk as well so the best thing you can only do is just that you should do you and knowing that our husband Kola Wale Ajayemi has been so loving and kind and he had said that he is married to a good wife and he said being married to a good wife would lead to one's progress for a man so he said he's married to a good wife knowing that this to nollywood couple also happened to be one of the nollywood couples in the social media in the nollywood industry who are making turns in the industry and they're also doing very well for themselves you know when you see these two couples you admire them so much they show this love and care Tony Abraham's husband has once said in an interview that his wife is one of the things he loved the most. He said his wife is that person he loved the most. He said he loves his kids and he also loves his mother. But aside from God, his wife is the person who makes him happy. And said if one has a good wife or husband, the person does not know how much God has blessed him or her. Meanwhile, talking about Tony Abraham's career, she has once said that she wants to quit acting and do some other things she said that she felt like there was a time that she wanted to end her acting career when she relocated to the united states years ago she took to her instagram page to tell us this that there were those very dark times in her life where she almost gave up on her fame because she was tired she said a few years ago during very dark times in my life i packed up my bags and left for usa on getting to the US, I made up my mind that I was done with fame and everything that comes with it. I was ready to quit and be done with my career. This motive of her post was because she was celebrating someone who actually odd her back into the acting line. Someone who inspired her career and also made her to continue acting. She said this person was someone who helped her embrace her career and go back to acting during those times of her life. She recalled how she met Mr. Wale Olaleye. Who told her that, Tony, you have a very beautiful career. You can't just abandon your career. And then he also told her not to worry that he was going to support her and stand by her side. And he also insisted that she return back to Nigeria so that she can continue her career. So she said that was how she returned. And started her career and she revealed that Mr. Wale Olaleye has been there for her and also has been footing all her bees. She said all because of this, she has been thriving in her career and standing on her feet. And since then, he has never stopped in his support. So while she was appreciating him and thanking him so much for what he has done in the past, for not making her to abandon this career, she had thanked him a lot and also prayed for him. Knowing that Tony Abraham started her acting in 2003 in a movie that Bookie Wright shoot at Ibadan. And ever since then, like I said earlier, she has been featured in a lot of movies and she has been directing and featuring a lot of Nigerian movies and she has received numerous awards. So she's still in her career all because of the fact that Mr. Wale has inspired her because she wanted to back off sometimes back. So guys, that's all for today's gist. Don't forget to like and comment under the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.